Backgammon is one of the oldest board games in the world, and there is a new club where you can play it all over town. Today we're meeting up with the founder of the NYC Backgammon Club at Fondi Mata in Williamsburg. Remington, it's so nice to meet you. Where does the love of backgammon come from? <laughs> I started playing as a kid, as most people do who've played with their families, and I was looking for places to play um, backgammon in the city, and I was going to events that were all just a lot of, an, like it was an older crowd, and I couldn't find anybody in my age demographic, so I decided to start my own backgammon club. We meet every week, it's either in Manhattan or Brooklyn. All levels are welcome, whether you're coming for the first time and you've never played, or you're <laughs> you're an advanced player, um, you know, anywhere in between. Do you have to bring your own board? We we ask that you bring your own board, but uh, I have 15 of my own backgammon boards because I'm obsessed, but um, we do try to say BYOB, bring your own board. And where did you bring us to today? Yeah, we're at Fondi Mata. Um, it's an amazing, uh, amazing venue. We had our holiday party here and we had 170 people. And it was Playing incredible. backgammon. Playing backgammon and then also just like celebrating the holidays. So I'm gonna be the dark checkers here. And then Lauren is gonna be the the light checkers here. So I don't know how to play backgammon, like full transparency, but yeah. when I was a kid, my grandparents had a backgammon board, like yes. the whole foldy thing. <laughs> I remember seeing it, I know what it looks like, but I never even learned how to play. So it is a game of strategy and luck. So once you like know the strategy, it really anybody can win because it is a game of luck, because you roll the dice. So is the point to get rid of your checkers? Yes. Like, okay. My pieces are moving in this direction to end in my home board here. Okay. While you're moving in the opposite direction to end in your home board here. Lauren rolled a five, I rolled a three, so that means you go first. You're gonna be counting the, the pieces. So one, two, three, four, five. And then for your three, you can go one, two, three. So what you did is you're covering up that checker so that you're not leaving it exposed. If you leave it exposed, you have the opportunity to get sent back to home. Yahtzee! Just kidding, <laughs> wrong game. Okay, four and three. Are you trying to get stuff over the line quickly or just as many as possible? You want to start to move the back pieces up as quickly as possible, but what you're also trying to do is set up your home base as best as, that you can. Do people drink a lot when they play this game or is absolutely. it like... Absolutely. This game is absolutely a lot of alcohol involved. Unless you're going to a tournament, mm -hmm. then it's like you want to stay sharp. It's such a social game. Yeah. And like do a lot of young people know how to play? It depends. Like if their families had, like if they grew up playing with their families, yes. But a lot of people come to my club looking to learn because they're just looking to do something new and looking to meet new people in a different way. <laughs> oh! Double, double. We try to keep the events as free as possible, and we just ask that you support the bar or restaurant by ordering drinks and food. I mean, it sounds like a great night to yeah. me. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was yeah, so much fun. Of